All right, we're back, we're back, we're back. This is your man, DJ TJ. This is Friday Night Live. We are back. It is January the 8th, 2021. And that was Justin Bieber with Holy featuring Chance the Rapper. Hope you enjoyed that song. And this is what is in your news. First and foremost, I want to say that this will not be our typical half an hour worth of news and topics and whatnot. This is going to be a short, short podcast today, you all. Uh, My timing was different. So to all my YouTubers out there, if you still enjoy the video, make sure you hit that like button, the thumbs up icon. And subscribe and hit the bell icon for many, many more videos that are to come. So you know when we are posting our next video. All right. If this is not your first time here and you are a continued and returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. You know I love you. But this will not be our normal. I'm going to go over what happened in the recent days with the Capitol riot and what is going on in the White House and what has happened with the election with the S elections and that pretty much will do it for this podcast so here we go in the recent days we've had an election runoff And there were four candidates that were involved, but there was only one state that was involved, and that state was Georgia. And the Democrats needed both seats to take over the Senate, and the Republicans needed just one to retain the Senate. Well, in the results of that were simply this. The Democrats won both seats, Not by a heavy, wide margin, but by a narrow margin worth mentioning that made those candidates members. And there will not be a recount, to my understanding, on either one of those races. Um, And to my understanding as well, votes are still being counted or we're finishing up as of today with those counts and I did not have those official counts for you but there is the last name Ossoff and the last name uh, well first name Raphael uh, something not I can't remember his name his full name that's why they want to mention names but both the Democrats did win their races that means that It is a 50-50 split in the Senate, and the newly elected Vice President Kamala Harris breaks the tie to give the majority 51 seats to the Democrats, which gives them control of the House, the Senate, and now the White House. And to keep on what we have been doing with the Senate, Vice President Pence has agreed to uh, certify the electoral votes in the Senate and in the House, and there were objections to the election, but those election objections were overturned not once but twice. In the process of certifying that election, Trump supporters and many others, put it that way, stormed the U.S. Capitol building on Tuesday, I should say Wednesday night on the 6th, and broke in, broke windows, and stormed the House floor, or tried to anyway, and a young lady was shot because she was there trying to storm the house floor 
and they also tried to, they did end up getting into the Senate floor, and also some of the senators in House of Representatives offices, such as Nancy Pelosi and others. Um, There were pictures taken of one person putting his feet on Nancy Pelosi's desk. Since that time, he has been arrested. Uh, There have been others that have been arrested, and there have been many officials that vow to arrest many, if not all, those involved in breaking in and the destruction that happened at the United States Capitol. Uh, Also, since then, because there was lack of security, the police chief of the Capitol has resigned uh, and they are now calling for the resignation and or 25th Amendment or impeachment of President Trump because of his uh, inciting of this riot. Since then, he has um, been banned from Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And Twitter has permanently banned him. And Vice President Pence has refused to take up the 25th Amendment. And majority of his cabinet members have resigned slash quit. So Nancy Pelosi and other Democrats and some Republicans have called for him to resign or for his removal. This is a serious case. That was not the only death. The young lady who was trying to get in was shot in the neck. There was a total of five deaths on Wednesday, January 6, 2021. And one of them also was a um, capital chief or sheriff, whatnot, um, who passed from his injuries trying to protect the House of Representatives and the Senate. And it got ugly, you all. Um, It took four hours for the National Guard and others to help protect the United States Capitol against these people who stormed the Capitol. And there was refusal for even showing up to stop them. And majority had flags that read Trump, let alone pictures of Trump or other organizations uh, who also supported his cause. So he did tell his supporters at a rally to go to the Capitol. And they did just that. But he did not tell them to do what they did when they got there. So he thinks he's okay. But like I said, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and others want him to be impeached. There are 12 days left before the 20th of January 2021. Which which is the day... Joseph Biden and Kamala Harris will become your new president and vice president, which I personally think is a waste of time, but that is a long time and he can do damage with his mouth and his actions in 12 days, which bothers Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and others. So... There are many calling for his removal. And not only that, Pence, Vice President Pence did certify Joseph Biden and Kamala Harris's election win. And 
you still will not invoke the 25th Amendment, which says the president is unfit to perform his duties and he would take over as president. So this is where we are so far, you all. This is where we are. And not only that, there was a bill that was passed that gives people $600. Most people have received that $600 already. And President-elect Joe Biden says he will get us the other $1,400 to make it $2,000. Uh, $2,000 stimulus check in our pocket. And he has also been uh, nominating more members for his cabinet as days go by. Um, this is a very serious deal with five people dying at the United States Capitol and the election being certified uh, when President Trump did go on a video on Twitter he somewhat conceded the election and then turned around and tweeted something else that said we will never stop and Trump Americans don't deserve this and that and the other and that's the reason why Twitter banned him permanently because he still supported those who were an act of wrongdoing at the Capitol. So this is where we are. It's a big uproar, especially in the United States right now. Other countries are seeing this and DC is in outrage. On Wednesday, they did have a curfew at six o'clock, which many did not follow or know about. Um, but now there is a fence that has gone up around the United States Capitol. And for the Capitol's chief to resign, they were not on the ball that day. But many are talking about how Black Lives Matter had a protest near or around the Capitol and there were National Guards and security everywhere. Everywhere. And they did not breach the United States Capitol or cause any violent harm to anyone. And they were ousted, I should say, security-wise when it came to them being around. But when it came to Trump supporters and others, there was no security to stop them. They were there, but they let them go by. Uh, barricades were pushed down. Um, doors were kicked in. And when the police papers pepper sprayed them and had tear gas, they kept going. There was nothing that the police really could do until the SWAT team got there and the National Guard was denied by those who called for help. Not once, but twice. Which is not a good thing. This is not how... I envisioned anybody that stormed our United States Capitol while both parties, both parts were in session, mind you. They were in session, joint session. And these people rushed during the certification of the presidency for the election. Without any remorse, and if you saw a video of this, you probably would agree with me that these people walked around the Capitol like they owned the place. I mean, hanging from the the, the the Senate wall just to get on the Senate floor, coming from the balcony, putting your feet up on Nancy Pelosi's desk, stealing her gavel, her mail, 
ransacking offices with papers all over the floor. I mean, it was it's it's something something else. You are. Uh, when I heard the young lady was shot, I felt bad for a split second. But then I thought about it. She's trespassing. The person that shot her, you know, I hate to see anybody die or get shot, but this was justified. You know, this was one of those justifications that, hey, you know, but if you have an unarmed black man at his house holding a Subway sandwich, that's not justified. And there have been others that have happened recently, if you haven't heard. That's just one of them that recently happened. And they did not find cause for an arrest in one of those cases where a man was shot seven times in the back and is now paralyzed. Um, He did not die. He was shot by a cop. He did not have a gun. Was breaking up a fight. And the police stormed him and shot him in the back. Yeah, but he did live. And he's paralyzed. He, I believe, has three kids or children. And um, they did not find cause for an arrest in that case. Which is sad, but it's a normal thing here in the great United States. And that just goes to show the differences between the two events that happen. You have an unarmed black man and you have a bunch of people who support Donald Trump storming the Capitol and one of them happens to get shot. I wonder if he will get fired or he will be prosecuted because he shot a a white woman in the United States Capitol. Only time will tell. So... Like I said before, this is not going to be your typical podcast today. If you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that like, thumbs up icon, the subscribe button, and that bell icon, and get all the videos that are to come, and you'll be notified. This is your man, DJ TJ. I don't have much more news, but if I come up with something, I will let you know after this next song. I hope you enjoy it. Here is our song of the week. We'll be right back.